Hello, what's up guys? In this very short tutorial, I want to show you uh, instead of logging the default uh, sensor data in PX4, you can specify uh, your custom data and log it to your SD card using the, that message in your tag, topics in PX4. So these topics are available in the PX4 framework and a folder called MSG. These are the uh, default uh, your topics that are available you can use in PX4. But uh, if you are an advanced user, you can create by yourself and register a new message with your custom sensors. Okay, first thing first, uh, you need a stick card. Uh, you may already have the stick card in your PX4. So eject it and connect it to, to your PC or laptop using an SD card adapter. Then open the SD card. If you already don't have the etc folder, go ahead and create a folder called etc or etc and then create a folder inside that and call it logging and you need to create a .txt file over here and call it logger underscore topics .txt in this, in this txt file you, you must specify what topics and what data you want to log and with what interval go ahead and, go ahead and open the text editor and create a new txt file with the specified name in the folder sd card etc login logger underscore topics dot txt now you can select each uh, message file that you need for your project this is a format you should specify a topic name and an interval and the interval is optional so if you don't specify the interval the it will uh, be logged at the fastest possible so what is the topic name? For the topic name, you should refer to the folder that I just mentioned. Go to your PX4 firmware and MSG folder. These are the all default messages. As I said, you can create your own messages if you're an advanced user. But if not, you can stick with this one. For example, this one is ADC report that reports all the analog data. And just the same, you can go ahead and explore all these data files and select each one do you like. For example, I'm selecting a bunch of them for example adc report airspeed attitude gps position and i don't know rc input and barometric and sensor information Okay, now that we have selected the data items that we want, we can go ahead and eject the SD card and plug it back to the PixHack board. PixHack board. And after connecting, I'm going to connect my PixHack to back to the computer. Menu and flight immediately, mode. the QGround control will be connected. You can see the radio controller is connected and I have good data for the IMU and no GPS satellite yet. Based on your parameter, the logging may have already started or you should have started manually. Uh, in the parameter setting, you can specify when the logging starts and when it stops, for example. Uh, by default, it will start whenever you arm your vehicle, but if you want to uh, log all the times, you can uh, specify, for example, it logs from the beginning of the boot time. Or you can uh, connect one of your uh, radio channels so you can turn on or off logging. This is a place you can change it. In the parameter, just go ahead and search for log. And the second item, you can see the different items you have. For example, right now I have selected from boot to shutdown. It means even right now the logging is uh, happening. Okay, but from the Mavlik console, you can change the time. Uh, you can manually stop, pause, and check for the logging status. 
go to the Mavlin, uh, Mavlin console and you can type cons uh, logger status you can see it's already logging and you can see all the data for example here and you can stop it for example I'm going to stop the logger right now and wait for the GPS signals to come back and then I start to log again okay here we are and uh, I have good GPS signals and everything is working now I want to start the logging I go back to my manual setting in Mavli console and I simply type logger start and as you can see the logging is started nine topics we have selected and logger start and logger status you can see the status that is being logged now I can just change vehicle attitude and just blow it to the pedal center to change the airspeed or I can change the radio items to see Mission everything rejected. is working in my okay I think it's enough we have done uh, logging right now and we can now stop the logging by uh, manually for example if we go to the Mavlink console again and type logger stop and the logging will stop there are different type of methods you can download the log file from px you can use the stick card and put it back in your pc and copy and paste the log data or you can simply use the log download section and search for the item here for example this is the one that i have uh, created right now based on the time you can double check i'm going to download this log file to my computer okay it's downloaded and it's available in my desktop right now this is the one I'm going to rename it to the log1 for simplicity log1.ulg remember this one is a, a ULG log if you don't know about the logs and different kind of logs that PX4 have I already have a video discussing about different kind of logs that PX4 has and you can go ahead and search for that and also put the link in the description here you can go ahead and uh, just get familiar with different type of logging tools available for px4 and flight analysis okay now it's time to analyze our log file by default the ulg file is a binary file so you cannot open it with any application one of the simplest one, uh, simple application that is written with Python is pyulog. It just it can show you the result, or it can convert the binary ULG files for you to CSV, for example. Just go ahead and simply uh, install pyulog using terminal, and if you found this error, uh, it means you are going to use Python three instead of pip. Use pip three to install the pyulog very straightforward installation and uh, right now you, uh, you can uh, go ahead and see the different commands available with pyulog here I'm going to use only the pyulog uh, conversion to CSV very simple command ulog to CSV I'm going to navigate to the desktop where I have my ulog here I'm going to use the command you like to CSV and the file name with no extra argument and done the data is ready now we go to the desktop here and see all the topics that we have selected and the data should be available for that item all of them are here ready for example you can have the airspeed attitude uh, RC inputs and different kind of data in CSV right now you can import this data to your math to MATLAB or any other analytic analytic uh, application such as Excel even and just for the sake of demonstration I'm going to open a few of this file to let you know what how is the template of this file you can see there is a timestamp and then each column is associated with the data for that uh, topic for example this one 
and this one is for our RC input and all the channels have been saved here I'm not going to import it yet if you click OK it will be shown in the office uh, in the Linux but I don't want to import it I'm just going to show you the template of the file for example this one is for the parameter this one for airspeed I guess yes indicated airspeed true airspeed and so on And this is it. You can select. Uh, you can create your own topics and log your own sensors. But uh, if you don't have custom sensor, you can specify what kind of sensor you want. For example, by default, maybe the ADCs won't be logged in the default view log. But right here, you can enable ADC log and read the voltage for each one. And there are other bunch of a bunch of uh, tools for analyzing analyzing the flight. I already have a video, and we will put the link in the description. But just for the sake of demonstration, just go ahead and use the flight analysis online tools for Peaks for. Just go ahead and search Peaks for log online, and you will find it. This is review.px4.io. I, I'm never, I've been never good at memorizing the URLs. I am always go to my good friend Google to ask for the URL, and just name it test on custom, and we will specify the ulog file address, log one, and I'm going to upload. okay it's uploaded and as you can see it was successful for example you don't have the flight time data because we haven't recorded the time sections but we have the airspeed the altitude attitude and so on based on the topics that you have selected you can have the plots here available okay that was a relatively advanced topic in px4 and uh, i hope you have enjoyed i'm going to continue just posting some advanced topics in px4 development sections here for example maybe the next tutorials be about the custom sensor integration and maybe uh, custom mavlink data packages if you don't if you need and if you have any idea to continue please let me know and uh, if you have any question please leave it below in the comment section and please like subscribe and share if you don't want to miss the next tutorial thank you goodbye